Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on vehicles. So this is a fantastic plugin which you can see in action right now. I'm currently flying a helicopter in Minecraft on my server without any mods. So this is a fantastic premium plugin that is definitely worth the purchase as it has so many different vehicles which you can see below me. There is trains, planes, helicopters, rafts, cars, bikes, tanks and parachutes. So um, I remember seeing this plugin a few months back and it only had cars and bikes and now it has so many more. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to attempt to land this helicopter um, somewhere, hopefully on the helipad. And then I'm going to show you the other vehicles and you can also customize them and add different colors and add more to the shop. So it's a very awesome plugin. Uh, so if we land here, I will show you how to actually use all of the, um, all of the vehicles and how to get them. So it's pretty cool, you can allow your users to buy them from a GUI shop, here we go, oh that was that was a lovely landing, there we go, job done. So they all have sounds as well, so um, let's go ahead and start with the trains as they're all the way down here. As you can see there are three different types of trains, so there are a few commands, there is the train shop command or vehicle shop, so we have the slow train for 50, we have the regular train for 80, we have the fast train for 100. So um, all you have to do if you have enough money is just click it, you will get a chest and depending on which uh, vehicle you choose you can pop it down in water or on land. So if I try and put it on land, it's obviously a train, it doesn't go on the land, it goes on rails. So you pop it down, right click to get inside and once we're inside you can hit S to change direction and hold W to go forwards. So it's very straightforward to drive, uh, it looks really cool, it obviously follows the rails and it's about to be derailed. So if you want it back, you can hold shift and click right, uh, right click, and there we go, it's back in, the, uh, back in the box. So there are lots of different trains, they all look the same, um, but the planes and other vehicles do look different. So each one has a special name. Let's have a fly of this plane. It's very awesome, it looks amazing. So this is the Yak-3, it's very, very cool. And you can spin it around the same way as other planes. So we are going to take the green one for a spin, not sure what this one is, um, but we are going to taxi onto the runway and hopefully take off before we reach the end. Are we going to be able to do that? No. So let's keep um, going forward and then um, there we are, we're in the air. Let's fly around and land again so I can show you the other vehicles, let's not hit the parachutes. And obviously you can get this vehicle in the same way as the others by doing forward slash. Oh, that wasn't brilliant. Uh, there we go. So uh, it's in the hangar now. Well parked. So you can obviously do plain shop to buy it. Or uh, get plane and the plane type. So um, let's have a look at the vehicles now. So we have the car. This is pretty straightforward. You get in and you can drive it like a normal car. Um, spin it around and park it. Looks very nice. So let's park it back here. There is the bikes which are pretty similar. These are very awesome. They go pretty fast once you uh, once you go forward a bit. Um, and the tanks. So uh, let's have a look at the grey tank. As you can see the turret spins around. You can see my head popping out of the commander's hatch. And you can drive it around in your own little tank which is so cool. Uh, this plugin is just amazing. I wonder what vehicles he'll add next. Uh, hmm, I can't really think of any. Maybe a submarine or other ships. That'd be cool. Parachute. So let's do a parachute shop <clears throat> and have a look. So there are lots of different ones. There's a professional. There's the low quality parachute. I I wouldn't suggest jumping out of a plane with that one. And the war parachute. So if we are somewhere in the air, we're falling, and we need to use the parachute. Right click it, and there we go. We are in a little parachute. Look how cool that is. And you can obviously spin it around and decide where you want to land. Uh, this would be great for a Battle Royale plugin if you had this. Um, and then obviously you you crash at <laughs> land like that. That wasn't brilliant, but um, it's great. Then we have the rafts. Obviously you can uh, go to the raft shop and have a look at which ones we have. We have the old raft, the nether raft, and the pirate raft. So you can see they all have different banners here. They look really awesome. Um, so we're going to right click to get on it and we are going to spin it around and actually drive it on the water or sail it I should say, not drive. 
uh, and as you can see it goes around pretty quickly it's just a nifty way of getting around so let's hop out of that even though we did crash it and have a look at the helicopters which is the final one so um, same same method so we are going to go to the helicopter shop if we can spell it correctly there we go we have the tiger helicopter the black shark camov ka52 and the apache attack helicopter everyone knows this one uh, it's quite a famous helicopter the one i was flying earlier you obviously hold um, w to make the propeller spin and hold space to go upwards so if you stop holding space you will uh, start to descend your altitude will get less and then you can obviously attempt to land it not like that <laughs> but uh, yeah this plugin is very very fun we are going to have a look at the config file now and see how you can add more to the shop change the name change the color and change the prices and all that good stuff so um, let's have a look at that now then so here we are in the vehicles folder and as you can see there are two YML files there is the language.yml which has all of the messages that it sends to the player and we have the config.yml so this is the most important one that you will want to edit if we have a quick scroll through you can see various things you can see um, all of the colors and the various blocks that the vehicle is made out of and you can see which vehicle it is bikes cars and where it gets the textures from and whatnot so let's start at the top we have um, various things up here so you can allow it in certain worlds only you could have a vehicle world you can change the shop size for each vehicle um, so we are going to probably we're going to make a new plane that's what we're going to do so you can disable disable sounds you can remove car on dismount you can um, remove the vehicle when they die so these are very awesome options so your world doesn't get littered with um, vehicles there is also a very useful command which is the force slash vehicle clear command followed by a radius and that will remove all your vehicles in a certain radius so um, as you can see here we have uh, the shop title and then the slot so in the first fourth and seventh slot we have these three bikes so we are going to scroll down to the plane shop here it is and we are going to change the size to 18 which is um, obviously double uh, we're going to change the title color from a nice gold to an aqua blue so let's go ahead and copy the yak 3 down below change the location in the gy to the fifth slot and change the plane type as well which I'll get onto in a second. The item material chest that's fine, the bite's zero, uh, item display name is going to be uh, obviously the greatest plane in the world which is the Spitfire, there we go, and the item law is, uh, we're just going to remove that and just set the price to five in the law. So um, that's how you add a new, um, new plane we scroll down here we need to find where is planes 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 I cannot find it where is it rafts trains cars orange must be down a bit more planes here we go so once you've set it to p4 up there you actually need to um, need to copy p3 from down here and create p4 or it won't work if you miss this step and here you can change the color of it so uh, it uses stained clay um, as the material could obviously change that and you can change the metadata so nine is sort of a grayish blue green is actually what is green um, what is green maybe we could use wall so wall and five so hopefully this works and we are going to test out my brand new Spitfire that I'm going to create even though it's a jet aircraft instead of propeller uh, so five and the wing material that is fine the max speed Spitfire it's pretty slow so we're going to reduce that uh, display name it's going to be Spitfire here, Spitfire and you can add permissions if you want to so this plugin is just fantastic um, let's remove that we don't want the permission take off speed 0.8 actually let's just increase the speed to 1.4 so um, I've just done the wrong one so let's uh, let's switch these around that is how you add a new vehicle make sure you do it to both sections or it won't work as you can see uh, there are lots of different ones you can choose different um, layer types as well for the helicopters and yeah that's it so we are in game we are going to reload and open up our plane shop 
if we can spell it correctly. So playing shop, this is the moment of truth. Here we go. So you can see it's doubled. It's two layers now, 18 slots and the Spitfire. So uh, you bought a new Spitfire. Ooh, exciting. And as you can see, it uses the wall material. It's green. It will be lagging because of my terrible screen recorder and uh, it should be pretty damn fast. So this is so awesome. Um, this plugin hopefully adds maybe different aircraft, um, maybe a Cessna, uh, that might be quite easy to model, or a propeller aircraft, something else like that, but I doubt he'll add a, a jumbo jet or Boeing 737 or something, that would be a bit, uh, bit crazy if he did. But overall, it's a great plugin, easy to configure, easy to add brand new ones, easy to change prices, so I would highly recommend it, as it's just so much fun. So subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you, oh dear, next time. <laughs>